everyone. So I'm done for the day and it's only 10.30 at night, which is a really early night for me. I got a text message right as I looked at my phone. That's so weird. Sometimes I think my phone hides text messages for me until I turn it on and then it's like, oh, new text message. But normally I don't go to sleep till like 2 or 3 in the morning because I suffer from insomnia. I've always been a night person. But every now and then I'll start getting sleepy earlier than normal for me. And I always relish nights like this because I know I'm going to get lots of sleep and I'm going to be really refreshed the next morning. So normally I like to pamper myself a little bit extra on nights like this. So right now I'm doing a fun holiday themed do-it-yourself mask. I like everything to be holiday themed in December. I just think it kind of adds a level of funness to every activity. So I found a really cool cranberry face mask that's good for all skin types. And this is my second time trying it. So I've tried it before and I really like it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make it now, now that I know that I've tried it and I like it. I'm already in my PJs and I'm all ready to do my face mask and kind of have a relaxing night. So I'm gonna start off with six tablespoons of fresh cranberries that I boiled for five minutes in one cup of water and then mashed up. So this is what it looks like. The recipe actually calls for five tablespoons, but last time I did this mask, I felt like it could use a little bit more cranberry. So I did six tablespoons of fresh cranberries, boiled it for five minutes, and make sure when you boil it, if you've never boiled cranberries, don't stand over the pot. Not that you would anyway, you shouldn't really do that anyway, but the cranberries actually will pop as they start getting soft and a couple times they actually like kind of spewed water out a little bit. I just don't want you to get boiling water thrown on you by these very ill behaved cranberries. And cranberries are really good for your skin because they're packed with antioxidants which can help fight skin damage and it can also act as a natural toner so it's like a mask and a toner in one. And if you don't have fresh cranberries you can use five tablespoons of 100% natural cranberry juice if you don't want to deal with boiling them and mashing them. Next, I'm going to use three tablespoons of all-natural Greek yogurt, plain yogurt. The fuller fat, the better. This is the biggest fat that the place I went to had 2%. They had 2% in non-fat. So I got the 2%, but if you can get full fat yogurt, that will work best for this. Yogurt is good for your skin because it has lactic acid in it, which is going to work as a natural exfoliant and really get deep into your cells to get rid of all of your dead skin. It can have brightening properties because of this lactic acid, and it can also work to unblock your clogged pores. So yogurt is used in a lot of do-it-yourself home recipes. We're also going to do one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil is moisturizing and it can give you a radiant complexion. It's full of antioxidants just like the cranberries and it can actually help with skin's elasticity as well. So again, it's used in a lot of at-home treatments. The last thing is one tablespoon of honey. I add honey to everything. I go through honey so fast. I put it in my tea. I put it in a ton of home treatments, but honey is really good for your skin as well. So we're gonna do one tablespoon. So I'm gonna mix all of these ingredients up. Honey is actually a really cool ingredient. When you apply it topically to the skin, it can actually help draw body fluids and nutrients to the areas you put it on, helping with cell regrowth and helping with scar prevention. So it's really good for your skin and it's also really good for acne prone skin. It is something that you can put on active breakouts and it won't make you break out further and it's also super moisturizing. So it's kind of one of those like secret holy grail skincare products that I like to put in everything because I think it's just awesome. It also has like antiseptic and antibacterial properties. The bees actually, when they create honey, they release some sort of chemical that helps give it these antiseptic and antibacterial properties. So it's really cool. So I've mixed it all up and it actually has this really awesome cranberries and cream kind of consistency. It actually doesn't look gross at all. It looks like a yogurt parfait that you would eat but I don't recommend eating it. I think it'd be okay to eat maybe if it didn't have the extra virgin olive oil, but I don't think that would really taste good. I mean, it is all edible products. So that's what it looks like. What I'm gonna do is wash my face and then I'm going to soak a washcloth in warm water and place it over my face to let the steam open up my pores. And that's really gonna prep my skin and let it really take in all the nutrients and benefits, let this sink in really well. So I'm going to leave the washcloth over my face until it starts to cool off. And then I'll take it off and I'll immediately put a really thick layer of this cranberry face mask all over my face, avoiding the entire eye area. And I'll probably put like a gel mask that I put in the fridge earlier over my eye area. Just one that you can like 
use cold or warm. I mentioned one in my do-it-yourself spa stocking gift idea video if you watch that. I got it from Target, but I'm going to put that on my eye area. I'm going to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes on my face. Then I'm going to take my washcloth when I'm done, and I'm going to re-wet it with warm water and place it back over my skin. And that's just going to kind of soften up the mask and break it up and make it really easy to remove. That way you're not scrubbing at it. You're not trying to like make you're not being abrasive to your skin as you're removing it then i'm going to use the washcloth to help remove it i'm going to rinse my face and apply my moisturizer and crawl into bed and enjoy amazing sleep and when i wake up the next morning i'm going to have like super radiant soft dewy moisturized skin plus it's very holiday-ish with the cranberries which i think just gives us something a little extra so I'm going to go do this now. If any of you guys try it, leave a comment below telling me how you guys like it. I know you, a lot of you guys loved my Monster Mash acne spot treatment that I did back in October. I'll link that below. It's another do-it-yourself home treatment. Pretty much everyone that tried it said that they loved it. So if you guys try this one, leave me feedback below, and I'll see you guys later. Good night, everyone.